Who is this weird viewer? Well, they're, judging by the mail, there are just hundreds of them out there. <laughs> oh, well, you know it's going to be a heck of a show. Today, the viewer's choice. It is a scream. Hi, Matter I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson. Welcome to Cooking Cheap. And what, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I said, it's a scream. I said, today's recipes and next week's recipes and the week after that are all from our viewers. And I'll tell you, folks, our viewers <laughs> are eating some weird stuff. As you will discover later on today. <laughs> Although mine is just a basic well, uh, mine, recipe. Mine's, mine's basically too, yeah. good. Mine's a macaroni and cheese and you can't go wrong no, with that. Uh -uh. Macaroni and cheese. We brought some mail with us. These are some of the letters that you, our viewers, <laughs> have sent in to us. And Larry, why don't you pick out one or two here? I, I, well, let me give you, you, you look at that one. I thought that one was particularly good. They sent us some, uh, there's, the one on the bottom is the one I want you to read. <laughs> oh, there's a sex quiz. And that's from, uh, where is that from? That's from Richmond. That's this is from, from the, uh, oh, I know, but the name of the outfit down there, it's the uh, Richmond Christian Center. Sent us a sex quiz? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know whether I should read this or not, should I? All right, now let's, well, maybe not. But no, anyway. I don't think I should. <laughs> well, it's a clean sex quiz, <laughs> That's just right. to, to be fair to them. Now, Sylvia Palmer wrote and said, Dear boys, I have written you three previous letters, <laughs> and I think it's about time you mentioned my hometown on the air. Yeah. I can't even read that. What is the hometown? Stanton, town? Virginia. Oh, it's Stanton. Uh, home of Stanton. the Statler brothers. And Larry, you don't, you devil... Come over sometime and we will cook something. Wink, wink. <laughs> From Sylvia Palmer. I would like your autograph and maybe a small photo of you two together. Oh, Aww. isn't that nice? Well, Stanton's also famous for the, <laughs> the, the Western State Hospital. Yeah, well, yes, indeed. Yes, yeah. Some of my people been down there on occasions. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Connie Dickman of Stewart, Tennessee has written in here. I don't know what she's written. Watch your show on Channel 7. I am live. I I am live down in. Oh, I, we're not. She is on tape down in Stewart, Tennessee. It says here would like to have your re recipe on the sour cream and the black walnut candy. You know that has been probably the all-time great recipes that we have done. See if you can find that one. Where, you know that one we were talking about earlier. Here's one from the United Methodist Family Services. We're very big with the church groups this week. Please send me the German recipes you did beautifully on TV. Beautifully. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, keep up the way you have of combining humor, common sense, and good taste to your program. <laughs> well, that just makes us feel That's so good. That's the first time we've ever been accused of that. I can tell you that right now. Because there are some that have been thrown off. Here on. is a, a letter from uh, our uh, general manager has sent us our paycheck <laughs> for the program. I really appreciate that an awful lot. Is this the one you wanted me to read? About yes. Devil yes. worship. Uh -huh. Read that one. <laughs> I enjoy watching your program very much. However, I do not see why you have to give the devil any credit or place on your program. I guess you know that witchcraft is nothing but devil worship, of which the chief one is the wizard and next the witch. The Bible tells us to have nothing to do with witchcraft. Not only that, but you have it flying around above your heads and you look up to it. <laughs> Keep up the good work in your cooking, and I still watch. We we appreciate that. I won't give her name, but anyway, <laughs> I should give her name. Now, now, let's get something straight here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. What we do around here, we do for fun, okay? Let's not take this we're not We're serious. not into devil worship. We're not into devil no, worship. We're no, not, we're not into witchcraft either. Mm -mm. Although we've worked with our although, I, <laughs> <laughs> although I have been into voodoo a couple of times. <laughs> well, I know I've seen that little doll you've got back there. It looks like Rex. You keep sticking those pins in. <laughs> and uh, Ann Morris of Troy, Virginia, wrote and said, <laughs> please send me uh, all these recipes. Watching you cook mistakes and all is a real pleasure. Who needs soap operas? <laughs> well, that's right. That's right. Well, anyway, uh, thanks I for all we, we ought to go on over and, and cook. We, we got have. more and we'll share them with you as time goes on because there's some real dillies in yes, there. There really are. There are. There are some real dillies. Well, let's go over and look and see what we're going to do today. Okay. Macaroni and cheese. Oh. Doesn't sound too well, terribly I'm intricate. <laughs> We need Jimmy Buffett here for mine. I'm doing a cheeseburger casserole. Cheeseburger <laughs> paradise. Right. 
Well, your, why don't you go ahead because your water is boiling. Well, we're boiling water here. And the first thing you do, this lady was, she was very careful to tell me that I had to <laughs> follow this to the letter, to the T. And I will find out how good to it is. To the T. To the T. Caffeinated or D? Well, it doesn't matter. All right. Or how about the lemonade? This calls for a cup and a quarter cups of macaroni. Marconi. Marconi. And that's going to go in there. And by the way, that is in a little bit of water with just a tad little bit of oil in it. She says, make sure you pour it into boiling salted water in which a half a teaspoon of vegetable oil has been added. Cook until tender and drain. I feel a little drained already. And I just got on the air. So we're going to cook that stuff. That's the first part of it. And it was boiling until I threw that in there. I need to turn it up just a little bit. Now, Laban, if you want to get started, i got to wait for this stuff to boil, okay, and then I'll, I'll put together all the rest of the stuff that has to be done on this macaroni and all cheese. Right. Well, now, on mine, you, you take, you know what? What? This is the first time I've ever been able to see what was going on over in the monitor, because <laughs> I have my new glasses on. How many fingers? What? How many fingers? Four. He could, he could, there are four he fingers could see real thumb. good, but he can't hear anymore. Have you noticed that? <laughs> anyway, what? And I can even see what I cook, I'm cooking, and I don't like it either. <laughs> no, I've got a pound of hamburger meat in this skillet, and you have to fry it up real good. Those are fine new glasses that you have on. Yeah. Well, anyway, and you fry this hamburger, and then when, after you finish with it, you have to drain it. Now, Dr. Bly, you remember? Excuse me, the water just exploded all over me. Uh, Lair and I were down in Danville, Virginia nice people and this is that they gave us this apron i'm wearing I think today we better the call register it, and be i think we better call it danville what'd i say you said dan bow oh we know that that's going to cause a lot of problems well anyway they were real nice to us and we judged sweet people wonderful oh people. they were so fine they were and wonderful. we judged this food contest down there and most of it was real good but they had some casseroles that well I don't want to say it was the worst stuff I ever had in my mouth because that would be unfair, and it certainly was. Paper towels, I just found but, some. Uh, well, oh, you had. Yeah, them. I had about. They them. were beside me the whole time. But anyway, the some of the casseroles were not as good as some of the other things. How's yeah. that for being diplomatic? Well, however, I should say that the ethnic foods were fabulous. They were. They but anyway, prepared. one they of really the problems worked. with a couple of the casseroles was that. They had started out with hamburger like this, but they didn't drain the hamburger. And really and truly, boys and girls, when you're doing a recipe like this, and it says drain the hamburger, you need to drain it after you cooked it. And incidentally, this recipe was sent in by Debbie Vile. Who? Debbie Vile of Richmond, Virginia. V-I-A-L. Oh. Not Vile, oh, like oh, V-I-L-E. Oh, I see. I see. I guess in school they used to call the roll and said, Vile, Debbie. Uh, no, anyway, of Richmond, Virginia, and she sent in this recipe for this cheeseburger casserole, and it's very simple. So I've got a pound of hamburger browning here in the pan, and it's just about done, and I'm going to drain it in just a minute. Well, while you're doing All that, right. this lady says that you should take a quart glass round casserole dish and spray it with vegetable spray, and I don't use it because it's got that fluorocarbon stuff in it and it gets up my nose and it makes me sneeze. So I, and I don't believe in polluting the air with fluorocarbons. So instead, today I'm going to make a minor substitution. I'm going to take a little bit of, of the butter that we're going to use in this and I'm just going to Can I tell you a story up on about this dish. polluting the air? Yeah, go this ahead. This is really very interesting. I heard the other day. Is this a Chernobyl story? No, this or is a what? true story. Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to tell him those. Oh, okay. They were kind of nasty. All right. Unpleasant. Anyway, no, did you know that the biggest part of air pollution in the world today is from bovine flatulence? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Now, would you explain that? Well, those cows get out there and eat all that grass, and it works on them. <laughs> oh, I, I've never heard tell such a thing in my life. Well, that's the first, ladies and gentlemen. You've never heard that on a cooking show before. <laughs> we'll get right. 17 more letters. All right, now I've, now added, what are you doing? I've added an eight-ounce can of tomato sauce to this. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. my <laughs> flatulence. 
And uh, now, <laughs> Debbie was real good about putting down the ounce size of cans. Now, I'm going to make a recipe next week where somebody sent in the, those horrible directions that say big and little. Oh, and I got one of those too next week. And it's, it's real yeah. dicey. But I, anyway, I this was an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And you mix that in, and then you get one of these little packages of hamburger seasoning mix. That stuff's not doing so good. It's taking I, too long. And I'm putting this hamburger seasoning mix in with this. What kind of hamburger seasoning? Is that uh, some kind of Lipton pre-mix or and, something? Uh, it's McCormick, yeah. Yeah. Hamburger seasoning. But what's in that stuff? I don't know. It's got all kind of onion, hydrolyzed vegetable protein. Oh, boy. Potato, salt, yeast solids, mm. cotton seed and soy oil, oh, sugar, MSG, yeah. celery yeah. seed, skim milk, caramel color, cheese culture, cheese enzyme, and calcium chloride. MSG. Mm -hmm. mm. All that good stuff. Yeah. Now you mix that around in here and let it set up a little bit. Let it set up. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you're going to get yourself a nice fine casserole dish. I've got my casserole looks dish. Looks like there. you definitely have that. How's your Marconi doing? Well, it's come along uh, real slow. Oh. <laughs> I wish now I'd have started it before we got on here. Well, <laughs> we might be here for I another wanna, year. Well, let me go on and, and dump this over here. Now, you put this mixture in the bottom of a casserole. This is your burger part of this dish. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, oh. 20 minutes in the oven. You've received oh, your 20-minute I, think it, it, I think it needs to come out. Do you? Yeah. But I'll do it in a minute. Well, I'm just going to open it up for okay. a moment. And turn, and turn it off. It's there, off too. and it's looking real brown. I okay. don't think you want to stay in now, there very long. you smooth your burger mixture out. Yeah. And now here comes the cheeseburger section. You put four slices of processed cheese on here. Now remember folks, we, we didn't, I suspect you could use any kind of cheeseburger and make this kind, I mean any kind of cheese and really make this exotic. What, 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 did, what was he signifying to us? We've got a new signal from the floor now. What was that? Well, it's one of these karate chops. Oh. It goes, what does that, that means mean? halfway. Oh. We're that, halfway finished. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Now, anyway, what now thing? you take a can of, of uh, oven-ready biscuits. That's the one that popped his gum while we were talking right. over at the table a while ago. Talked in front of office about that. Pop these babies open. All right. I told you about that time we had some of them. Th well, I guess I did. Sitting on the edge of the stove and they exploded and we got biscuits all over the ceiling at my house. Oh, no. It's true. Those things will. And also, if they go past their date, they will literally explode in your refrigerator. All over and everything. And you, you put the biscuits on the top of this. What dish. kind of biscuits are those? These are uh, Pillsbury something or another. Look, what, Hungry Jack. Hungry, Hungry Jack, king of the wild frontier. <laughs> that is the way that song goes. Oh. <laughs> I swear. He's making it up as he goes along. Well, who doesn't? You make up a lot of stuff as you go along. <laughs> All right, now. I swear. There you are. Here's your, inside here, you've got your Burger mixture topped with the cheese. No, that's and burger with your, <laughs> You topped with your uh, biscuits, and you put this in a 425 degree oven for 30 minutes. Except a 20 would be the greatest of plenty. Yeah. Depending on how well your oven heats. And when you're finished, it's all pretty and beautiful. And let's see if we can get it out. If I can find a hot pad. He's going oh, to get Lord. it out if he can find a hot pad. How are you coming along, Lib? Well, I'm, uh, I'm getting over here to it. Woo! Oh, it looks real pretty. Look at that. Mm, it's as pretty as a television picture. Look at that. Gorgeous. Just full of loveliness. There, there it is. I keep getting tangled up in my cord. Well, that is real beautiful. And there's one I cooked in the muffin pan because it was left over. <laughs> looks like. Uh, Looks like as hard as a rock. Okay, is that it? That's it. All right, now here's Take what, it away. Here's what we're gonna do. We, we now finally have this macaroni done. And I'm gonna take it and drain it in the sink. Just drain it out.
This won't take but a couple of seconds. We hope. We hope. That's right. All right, now, now that that is done, take a couple of pats of butter. This is a combination of butter and margarine. Just a couple of them and mix them around in there and we're gonna let that set for a couple of seconds while we do some other things. Two or three pats of it, work it down in there. All right, a little butter, just mix it around in there. That'll be fine. I'm gonna set that over here and get it out of my way. It won't hurt mm -hmm. it if it drizzles mm -hmm. around there. Now, you take some Daisy Style <laughs> Mild Cheddar Cheese from Kroger. That's what it specifies, right. Daisy Style. We've been very careful to do exactly what the recipe says. Right. We're going to take some of that if stuff. If it messes up, we want to be able to blame the viewer, not That's us. That's right. And Who did your recipe? We're going to grate that. This is from Ms. Diane Jackson of Roanoke, Virginia. Diane, I was very careful to chase around the Kroger store yesterday and find exactly the type of cheese that you specified. It is a mild cheddar. And we're just going to grate some of that because we're going to use several of them. All right. There we go. Now we're going to make up a little mixture on the side here. We're going to take two eggs. One, two. <laughs> Are you playing with your food again? Yeah, lady? that biscuit did cook up and made a real nice little shell. You could probably use that for something. I believe you could. Now, it says... We could use it for a case for his brain. <laughs> two eggs beaten. I'm going to take a whisk and I'm going to beat those up pretty good. You're take a what? Whisk. Oh, okay. <laughs> And we'll beat those two eggs into submission. Oh, look. And then uh, I didn't have a place set it. Uh-huh. And a half a cup of sweet milk, which is regular milk, half a cup of that. Yeah, you better make sure people know that because we do have people that aren't familiar with those terms. Put sweet that in there. Sweet milk is just regular milk. And another half a cup, let me make sure I'm right on this, of canned milk, which is what that is. And that's about a half a cup, that little bitty one right there, believe me. This woman knew what she was doing because she said this should come right to the bottom of your macaroni, mm -hmm. and it did. It did that oh, exactly. Good. It was perfect. I was real proud of her. Get some of this junk out of the way. There's too much junk out here. I can't see what I'm doing. What else? A little margarine. We've already got that in there. Daisy style cheddar cheese. A little salt and pepper. We'll put that to taste. A little paprika. And we're going to beat that up. Whip it up real good now. This cheese is okay. Oh, it is. It's wonderful. Now we've set that aside. Now we've taken the dish and we've put a little margarine in there so it won't stick. And we have over here waiting our macaroni, waiting to go into the oven and put just a little of that down there. And then you put a layer of cheese very nice and you might want to at this point put just a little salt and pepper in there I would say just a tad a little bit just sliced a little bit not much maybe a little paprika in there I don't know it might be nice we'll throw some on top after a while and then the rest of Did this you is put all, some pepper in there yeah I will in a second this mm. is this is a little bit smaller than uh, than the dish is supposed to be but I didn't have a bigger one so I'm doing the best I can with what I got and Oh, this goes in now, all right? This goes in, and that should come right up to the top of your macaroni, which it does. Isn't that pretty? I'll put a little pepper in at this point. I love pepper. And then you put your final, I think we need a little more of that. You didn't need it all, no, did you? No, no. Oh, okay. I heard you gnawing over there. I heard you gnawing, but, but you can't, can't come in. in. Put just a little more on that. Now this says that you're supposed to take Reynolds wrap or some kind of foil and once again you spray it with the vegetable oil so that your you know stuff doesn't stick right all over it and and you cover it up with uh, 
And I know you've been studying on that Reynolds family. With the, <laughs> with the Reynolds, that's another Reynolds family. And just cover that up with Reynolds wrap, which I don't have any of down here today. I thought we did, but we don't, and I can't help. There's nothing I can do about it. It's a low budget show, and what are you gonna do? So there it is, and you stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes. And when it comes out, it should look, and let me see if we got it here. You know, I'm going to pour a little more milk in there. I forgot to dry. Probably going to be right dry. But anyway, it will froth up real nicely, and it turns out to be pretty nice. Now, mm. some people prefer to cook it, you know, macaroni uh, with no cover on it so it'll get nice and brown mm -hmm. on the top, and that's optional. That's up to you as to whether you want to do it. But it really is pretty. It's got a very nice consistency to it with that beaten egg in there. And that's that. Well, Have you wonderful. got something for me to set that on over there? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Woo! I'm not going to make it with that. I don't guess There's I'll ever right get over it. right here in this drawer, the, the next one. That one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I may never get over there. Larry has a hard time with, <laughs> with Finding his drawers. things around here. <laughs> Do we have anything to scoop it out with? Well, I have the spoon here, and I, I'm going to cut into this cheeseburger casserole. Lord, I better use that. <laughs> oh, no, that's too big. Oh. No, that's all right. No, no, no. I, let me go back to this. <laughs> there it is. Did you get it? Yeah. I did. Well, I've got a decent sized spoon for this. Well, isn't that attractive? And we'll take a little bit of this. Ooh, it looks real nice and pretty. It smells very good too, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Let me give you some of this macaroni. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. Your mouth is frothing. We can all see it from here. Here, have another. Oh, no, no, no. no. That's the greatest. Oh, that's the no, that's the greatest of plenty. Oh, there's oh, we forgot uh, today's about recipes. recipes. Well, for the cheeseburger casserole, you need a pound of ground beef, package of hamburger season mix, eight ounces of tomato sauce, four slices of American cheese, and a can of refrigerator biscuits, and that's uh, it. I don't want to tell you. That's a good recipe. And if you don't know. Well, the uh, macaroni cheese course, you got that uh, cooked macaroni and the two eggs beaten and the uh, half cup of sweet milk uh, mixed together with a half cup of regular canned milk and two tablespoons of margarine or butter and a Kroger Daisy style mild cheddar cooking cheese, salt, pepper, and paprika taste. There you go. It's real good. Let's try it out. <sighs> well, I'll try one of these, some oh. of this Burgers Meister stuff here. Well, that is macaroni and cheese. Hmm. Well, that's certainly very interesting. <laughs> and it's got its bread built into it and everything. A little hamburger dish. It does. It tastes good. I think it's real good, Johnson. Mm -hmm. I think you whooped up on it. Did a real fine job on it. Well, Debbie, this, this is a real good casserole. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. gee, it is macaroni and cheese. And Real a good hamburger in paradise casserole. These people are saying, "Hey, thank heavens, there's something we can identify finally." Right. Everybody's real happy. And the about floor it. crew can actually eat it. Can actually eat it and know what it is. But anyway, it is real good. And next week, <clears throat> we'll be doing more viewer recipes. And if you've got, oh, I'm going to be doing uh, beans and rice. And I'm doing a cheesecake. And speaking of being at the end of something, I should certainly think that the old clock on the wall says it's time for us to leave. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>
If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at blueridgepbs.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.